In the previous video, we built our custom user model. So this is the, or it's a custom user model named account. And uh, we got that all set up so we can create users, create super users, but all this is done from the admin console currently. And the admin console has some problems. Number one is there's no information in the columns here, or there's not a lot of information. All there is is the user's email. I can't search users manually. So if there was like 100,000, there's no way I'd be able to find them. And if I click on a user, it's showing their password, which is obviously wrong. Uh, we should not be able to see people's passwords. So in this video, I'm gonna fix all of those problems with the admin console. So this video, we are gonna be exclusively working in admin.py in the account app. I'm going to delete this and I'm also going to add one more import. So I'm gonna write django.contrib.auth.admin and I wanna import user admin. So this is like a, it's a helper class for making admin screens. I want to create a new class. This is going to be called account admin. So it's a custom admin class. Uh, I'm going to be extending the user admin import that I added just a second ago. And I'm going to add some properties. So these, all of these properties that I'm adding, you can find on the, in the Django documentation. So if you Google user admin, you'll find these. The first one is list display. So this is what I want to display in the admin in the, in the col as columns up here. What's going to be displayed up there in the columns? So what I want to see is I want to see the email. I want to see the username. I want to see the date joined. I want to see the last login. And I want to see is, actually there's two more, is admin and is staff. So these are all properties that you can find in our model. All of these kind of properties right here. Obviously I don't care if they're a super user, there should only really be one super user ever. So that's why I didn't add that. Now I'm gonna copy that line and delete most of this stuff. I'm gonna delete everything except for the username and the, and the email. And this is going to be the search fields. So this is going to create a search bar in the admin console up here. And I'm, I'm specifying the fields that I want it to query the database for. So I wanna be able to search by username and I wanna be able to search by email. Next is read only, whoops, read only fields. These are fields obviously that are read only and should not be able to be changed. Date joined should never be changed. There's only a single event. And also last login should never be able to be manually changed. Because if you look at the last login parameter, it's got an auto now equals to true property, which basically means it will automatically be updated every time a user uh, logs in or any anytime that, uh, that row is accessed in the database. Next is filter horizontal. These, these are some other filter options. I'm basically setting this to nothing. I don't want any filter horizontal options. Uh, list filter. So this is going to be, again, more, more filtering options and field sets. Field sets. I actually don't even know what this one does, but it's required if I don't put it equal to nothing, then I get an error. So just being honest, I'm not sure what that one is, but it's required, so uh, make sure you add it. Uh, and lastly, I want to do admin.site.register and add the account and add the account admin. So pretty much the same thing as we did before. Before we just didn't have this account admin kind of extension. So now we have account admin. Now I'm saving the file and I'm going to the console and I'm going to refresh. So right away, as you can see, this is much better. I have a search bar up here. So if I type Mitch, it will filter on, on it'll search for any users named Mitch. Jess, so find Jessica. Even if I just type J, it'll find it for me. So search bar is very handy. You definitely need one of those. Uh, next, I have all these columns. It's giving me more information about the users. I can filter by these different properties. So if I want to filter alphabetically, you know, whatever. Uh, so much, much, much better looking admin console. Now I'm going to click on one of these users and notice that the password is now hashed and hidden. There's no way that I can see this password. I can still change it by filling out this form, but uh, I can't, I can't actually see it. So that's, that's a good thing. I should never be able to see users passwords. Also the, uh, the admin screen or the user screen itself looks much better. We have different properties. They're all being broken up into categories or into sections, date joined, the last login, which can't be updated. Everything generally just looks much, much better at this point. Now, actually, before we move on, since this video is kind of short, I'm going to uh, update some of the other stuff in here that we need to update. So first of all, I want to 
uh, remove this question model. We don't need this anymore. We're not going to be actually using that in the course. So I'm just, I'm, I'm going to leave it there for your reference. So I'm just commenting it out, but we, we won't need that anymore. Also, we're going to update this home screen view and actually, oh, actually I need to go into uh, personal admin also and remove this because we don't need questions in the admin because there will be no more questions. So let's go, let's go into uh, the views file inside of the personal app now and make some changes. So instead of querying these questions, I'm going to query the users and display those on the home screen. So I'm going to say users equals, oh, whoops, I actually need to import, import the user model or the account model, first of all. So I'm importing the account model. I'm going to go users equal account dot objects dot all. So it's like a select all in the database. I'm selecting all the users. And now I want to add that to our context. So I'll just say uh, users or accounts, like it's, we can call it accounts. Let's call it accounts because that's actually what the model is called. Accounts equals accounts. Now I'm going to save that and I'm going to go into our home.html file. And this is going to be for account in accounts. And I can pass, I can actually delete this body snippet too. We don't really, we're not going to be using that. I'm deleting that. Uh, don't need this anymore. You've already seen how to use that. And I just want to print out, print out each of these users. So I'll do account and save that. Now let's go to our project, go to the home screen. And there you have the users that are registered being printed out to the home screen. Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't have to do this. I just kind of wanted to show you an example because we've made a lot of changes. But um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The only thing I actually do want to mention is notice what is actually being printed. So it's printing the email. The reason why it's printing the email is because of this string method. If I was to, like I said, I could do like comma plus uh, self dot username. If I was to save that and then go to the home screen, notice now it does the email and the username. Uh, also in the template, if you didn't just want to print out what the string method is doing, I could do dot email, I could do, you know, date joined, I could do any of the properties of that account, or sorry, any of the properties of that model. So like I could do account, or account dot, uh, dot uh, username, then concatenate that with the date joined, uh, invalid filter account. Oh, oh, it's gonna, I can't add, oh, I need to separate these. There we go. So now that would do its us their username and then the date that they joined. So if I refresh that username, date that they joined, you can you can reference any property like that. Just kind of as a heads up, I just wanted to make you aware of that. But I'm just going to be printing out printing out the email, and I'm going to change this back to just the email. So I refresh that. There is those emails. Oh, and actually one last thing before we move on, I want to stop the server and I want to make migrations since I have, since I've deleted the, uh, the question model, make Python. Oh, whoops. I need to do Python manage.py. Whoops. Python manage.py make migrations, Python manage.py migrate. So that's going to delete the question model from the database. All right, so that's uh, that's going to be it for this video. And now in the next one, I'm going to work on um, building a user registration screen for the website itself. Because currently, the only way we can register users is by going to the actual admin. So I'm going to build a registration screen so users can register uh, without going to the admin console.